Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Order Up is a like light family, maybe mass market type game. And in this game, players will be running around the board with a roll and move mechanic to deliver pizzas. And each location on the board will require different ingredients on their pizza based on what cards are face up, kind of ticket to ride style. And the players will be able to roll and move, but what's cool about this, you can move it any direction you want. And you can pretty much, I mean, if you roll a lot of ones in a row, you're going to be hosed a little bit. But for the most part, you can move around the board. And when you get to a location, you want to give up the ingredient cards that will fulfill what they are looking to do. And if you want to get more ingredient cards, you got to run back to your store. So you're constantly kind of running back and forth. A lot of the game is roll and move, and this kind of killed it for us. I'm not a big roll and move kind of guy, but it kind of works in this game. And this can be a jumping off point for a lot of kids where they're used to roll and move, but you're making these other decisions about the ingredients and when you take off, and there's some action cards involved. Now, the icons are all all pretty straightforward. There's a little bit of reading to this, which is important with younger gamers. I think it's important to point that out. Order Up is a really fun roll and move type game of moving around the board and delivering pizzas. If you're into roll and move, that's something you're comfortable with. Then this is a great jumping off point to be able to do other things. If you're past roll and move and it really isn't as interesting to you, then this might be something you want to pass by. And I really think that mechanism is going to be the push and the pull here. It's a very simple game. You will probably not play this with your gamer friends. I think it's going to be strictly in, like, kid and family mode. Something people are comfortable with, which is that roll and move mechanism. But everything else is just kind of there. It is really neat. I like the pizza delivery theme. I wish we would see stuff like this more. I think it's very interesting. I think kids immediately get into it. They're, they know about ordering pizza and the ingredients and... You know, it's kind of cool for the kids to see the other side. You know, they're always at home waiting on the pizza. Here's what the guy is doing when he's delivering it. So that's kind of neat. And my kids got a kick out of that. With all the games in the world and all the children games and how good they are and stuff, this game just, it was it was time to go with my children. We had our time in the sun. It was fun. The little cars are cool. And you can definitely upgrade those if you want to get fancy or have like little Mario Kart people or whatever you wanted to do. Easily upgraded right there or put your favorite Hot Wheel or whatever. But at the end of the day... The roll and move mechanism just isn't something that we want to do in a game. So this will be a purge for me. Here's order up the pedal to the metal game of pizza delivery. This is a kid's game about delivering pizzas. Open up, you're going to get a rule book, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. You're going to get these cards. Now, these cards are pretty good quality. This game has been around for a while. Uh, they kind of feel like you ever played Flying for All games. They kind of feel like that, but th they're really good. You're going to have your toppings, which will have um, different pizza toppings that you can have on them. So shrimp or green peppers. There's some energy drinks and cheese and ham. Uh, kids don't, need to have to be, don't have to be able to read because the pictures are different and the numbers are different on them. So that will help out a lot. You're going to get these little miniature cars, which you'll have in here. They're kind of cheap plastic, but they look kind of cool. I mean, they're better than like nothing that you would have. If you wanted to paint them up, I guess you could, but they're not much to them. And then you're going to have a board, which will be set up. Uh-oh, mine is in pieces. Um, looks like one of the kids have been into it. Nevertheless, it normally wouldn't be in pieces like this, but there you go. This is what the board would look like. It's very colorful, very easy to see, and that's how it'd be set up. Easy to set up. What you're going to do is everybody's going to get six topping cards. These will have different toppings that you're collecting. Everybody will choose a color and put it on one of their pizza shops, which will be the four corners of the board. Then you will take the order up cards and you will set them like this. So setup is very easy. Everybody will get six of these topping cards after the deck has been shuffled. You will pick a color and you'll put it on your pizza shop, which will be the four corners of the board. 
Then you'll take the game over card, you'll shuffle the order up deck, and this will go somewhere in the middle of the deck. So you're a little unsure of where it will be. Then you're gonna take three of these cards, and you will place these face up beside the board with the deck next to it, and you're ready to go. Then you roll the dice, you'll roll two six-sided dice, and you can move in any direction that you wanna go, down any road that you choose to go down. Uh, if you go a direction, you need to continue to go in that direction, but if you're going to move three or so forth, you can go any way you want. You can also move less than the dice if you want to, but you cannot move more. If you ever end your movement at your restaurant, you can choose to pick up one or two additional topping cards, which will go into your hand that is at your restaurant. Setup is really easy. You're going to, everybody's going to pick a color and put their car out in the four, one of the four corners. You will draw six of these topping cards. You'll put three face up, three face order up cards, and there's a game over card that goes in the middle of the deck. Once that is all set up, you're ready to go. On your turn, you roll two six-sided dice, and you can move in any direction that you want to go. You can always move less than what you've rolled but you cannot move more. On your turn, you can always pick up one or two of these toppings. If you pick one of these up, just know that you would place a replacement down on, so players will always have three in order to play. Of note, there are some wild cards that can be any particular topping, some that will be just whatever topping it is. In addition, there will be some action cards, make another player move back to their pizza restaurant, discard after using, add three to your dice roll when moving. So there's some action cards in the topping deck that will give you additional things that you can do. What you're gonna be trying to do is fulfill these orders. This will tell you Ivana B. Bad is the customer. This is the address 803 Burb Lane. So you would look here, here's Burb Lane, here's 803. So this is where you're trying to get your car to to deliver what you have here. She wants a Pineapple Express and you're gonna get $15 for accomplishing that. So if you're able to get Pineapple to that location, then you would take this face up card and you would score $14. Now some of these, like this one face up, will be a little bit more complicated. You need two olives for dandelions and it looks to be an onion there. And that's a Mediterranean. And you gotta go to 155 George Boulevard. George Boulevard, 155. So you need to get your car over here, deliver these two toppings and this third one, and that will be worth 25 points at the end, which is placed there on the car. So that's what you would be attempting to do. Now, when the game over card comes out of the deck members put halfway through, then the game will end. You will add up how many dollars you were able to get. At that point, you would win the game if you had the most dollars.
Who should buy this game? Strictly uh, kids, strictly maybe kids who like delivering pizza or ordering pizza. I mean, most kids are kind of like that. And then I would say maybe family weight game. Anybody above that, I think you're looking more mass market. Uh, and if it's on a shelf, somebody might pick it up. I don't think gamers will be wanting to sit around and play this with their buddies. For me and my family, it's going to be a purge. But I think there's a lot of fun to be had in this Thanks box. for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. lets us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing.